Yeah, so there we go. We move on to New Zealand versus South Africa. Even looking at the two emblems kind of sums up El Clasico, really. And no other team has won the World Cup in 20 years. They've both won three. It's all set up. Are they peers now, Donald? Like, before this World Cup, it looked like New Zealand were falling behind. I yeah, mean, I ridiculous to... thing to say, really, historically, but yeah, evidence look, for it. I mean, South Africa were my favourites coming into the World Cup. Uh, I think the events of the last two weeks, New Zealand, uh, I think are now probably of a slight edge going into the final. Uh, and I think, ironically, if New Zealand won the World Cup, they will look back at the series defeat by Ireland last year as the catalyst really? for yeah. what's happened since. Yeah. I mean, uh, we, we've now learned since they beat Ireland in the, uh, in the quarterfinal that they've been gearing for that game almost for, for the last six months. Uh, they changed their whole defensive system where they defend against the ball as opposed to the man. Um, and uh, they've improved immeasurably. People will say the South Africa beat them. They hockey them and took in them 35, whatever it was, only seven or eight weeks ago. Uh, but if you look, that was a different New Zealand team. Uh, circumstances have changed. I think we have a classic on our hands. But I think by virtue of the fact that South Africa quarterfinal, the classic against France, one point in it. Last week, mm. the we, weekend semi-final against England, one point in it. You just wonder. Uh, and with one less day to um, recover, uh, that could be very significant in the mm. end. Mm. Just sticking with New Zealand for a while, because after 2019, there was a lot of soul-searching. Whenever they don't win the World Cup, we knew that all the performance reviews kicked in after 2007 when, you know, they made some pretty basic errors. And 2011 and 15, they went and did it. The 15 team was incredible. But where are they now? I, 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 they do seem to have soul-searched their way back to form. Yes, I think um, big picture, I still don't think they have depth that they've had in the past. But let's focus on this weekend. Um, a lot of their com combinations and players who were decent All Blacks, I feel like even in the last couple of months, um, you know, they seem to have it. It's not start Barrett at 10, bring him on, move him. And you look now like that, uh, Jordy Barrett at fullback, like the team's starting to pick itself. Um, and you look through the form of Jordy Bard at inside centre. Uh, Richie Mwanga has probably been the best 10 in the competition. He's in great form, isn't um, he? Yeah. Actually, Scott Barrett's now become one of their best players. Their back row, the question marks with Kane. And it's, it's amazing how in the shape of eight weeks they've gone from a team where I, I really doubted them. And I, th I still think the game of the weekend is a toss of a coin. It'll be a close game. It could definitely go either way. Given where they are in terms of the plan they used to beat Ireland, I think the All Blacks are, are slight favourites for this well, weekend. We're now. just on that plan. I mean, will that plan work? I mean, we have the ghost of the green jersey when we're analysing this match, obviously, but will that plan work in the final against the box? Uh, I think, um, you know, they have so much experience of playing against South Africa, they know exactly what's required. Yes. I think they have a group of players now at their peak. You've, you look at the second row, Sam, uh, Scott Barrett is now the number one second row in my view. So you've Ritalik, who was World Player of the Year nine years ago. Mm. Sam Whitelock, 152 caps. Fourth World Cup final. The third World Cup third, final. Sorry. The, the first player ever yeah. to play in three World Cup finals. I'm that not so sure. Either. I think where they are, the depth underneath in New Zealand isn't quite where it was. That's not surprising when you consider the amount of players that they have played overseas in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know certainly the second row, Tubo Vati and Josh Lord are in their squad as second rows. They're not at the level of the three guys who are ahead of them. Um, but I think New Zealand, they're peaking at the right time. And it goes to show again that you don't need a four-year plan to win a World Cup. You need to get it right in the tournament. And, uh, yeah. and there was, remember, COVID as well. Like yeah. 2020 kind of wiped a year from their schedule. 